Baseless Haven. Activate the ability. Double everyone's attack and swing in. And that should be lethal. <laughs> oh man, that's so sick. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Slayer's Den. Thank you guys again so, so much for joining me. Today we are playing an amazing mono green with a splash of black elf deck, and this deck is so bananas, it's so bonkers, it becomes super OP really quickly, and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick breakdown, and then we'll get into some awesome gameplay. So the whole deck is an elf deck, and if you guys are unfamiliar with how the elf decks work, is we just play a ton of elves, we get a lot of value from cards like elf. Elvish Warmaster, which whenever another elf enters the battlefield, Elvish Warmaster allows us to create another 1-1 green elf warrior creature token, and then also has this amazing ability for 7 mana, elves you control get plus 2 plus 2 and death touch until end of turn. So it seems kind of expensive, but the reason why this works so well is because we do have Circle of Dreams Druid, which allows us to add a green for each creature we control, and we're going to have a ton of elves on the board most of the time. So this is going to be super helpful in just tapping one creature, but we get to pump up our whole board. So once we get this thick board full of elves, we pump them up and then we'll use this brand new card from Innistrad, Unnatural Growth. This costs one colorless, four green, says at the beginning of each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature you control until end of turn. So this card is absolutely busted in creature decks and in an elf deck where you're going super wide, making your little one ones into two twos is actually super significant. But more importantly, when we pump up Elvish Warmaster first, giving everyone plus two plus two, and double up. We're making enormous elves here that just swing in. It's usually going to be lethal by then. So one thing I did want to try in the deck, because we're playing a few different shapeshifters here in Realmwalker and Mass Vandal, I wanted to see if we could also capitalize on this card, Skeletal Swarming, which you've seen me play in a few decks. Basically gives each skeleton you control plus X plus zero and trample. And then you get to create a 1-1 black skeleton creature token at the beginning of your end step. Two, if a creature died. So this thing gets out of hand really quickly. And then we also get the benefit of these realm walkers being shapeshifters, so they count as elves as well as skeletons. So as you can see, there's going to be a ton of really cool synergies in here. And then I threw in a copy of Masswood Nexus because remember we created that combo here where we give all creatures uh, every creature type, so they get the benefit of skeletal swarming. So potentially all of our elves could have plus X plus zero and trample and just smash to face for so so much damage. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, that's the main game plan: create a wide board of elves and smash in for a ton of damage with unnatural growth or the combo of skeletal swarming and masswood nexus end the game celebrate give our opponents the chop and then we run off to baskin and robbins and get our favorite ice cream flavor which i, I don't know what's your favorite ice cream flavor out there i'd love to i'd love to know let me know in the comment section below <laughs> but yeah that's the gist of the deck hopefully you guys enjoy it and if you do please remember to chop that like and subscribe button for me because it does help my channel out a ton and more importantly it does allow me to grow the slayer's den community so thank you guys again so, so much. And without further ado, let's play some Magic the Gathering. I'm a big elf. I'm a big elf. I'm a big elf. I'm a big elf. We are going against Sir Punsalot, though, so we might have a chance. We might have a chance, folks. All right, this is like a pretty decent... Um, I'd say a pretty decent opening hand. Okay, we'll play the Tajuru Blight Blade, and we'll pass the turn. Opponent is on double black right now, so maybe Demir, some kind of Demir action. Ram session, you say? Gross. Um, the real threat with playing against a black deck is that it's likely they're playing a lot of removal. Um, especially in sweeper form, like Meat Hook Massacre is probably something I'm gonna see in this matchup. So it's kind of scary, but um, I think it is what it is, right? All right, so we're gonna play a we're gonna play a Woodland Mystic here and just swing in. Like I said, uh, a Meat Hook Massacre right now could do us in, but. Um, yeah, it is what it is, as they say. Now we're gonna play a forest and oh man! All right, so we have some choices here. 
do we commit to the board is the question. Okay, we're gonna play Tyvar Cal here. And I'm going to also play Jasper Sentinel. Full swing for one. Let's get that sweeperoo going on, I guess. That way the opponent is gonna have to choose between sweeping the board and um getting rid of our Tyvar Kel here. Okay, so no big decisions yet on that. So let's go ahead and play. Elvish Warmaster into Realm Walker or Elf. We're just going to get blown out so hard here, I suspect. And we're going to untap something. Um, let's put it on Realm Walker. And I think I'm cool with just swinging in with both of these. But if they block, it's fine. It is what it is. Um, but I put the plus one plus one counter on Realm Walker just in case it's like Crippling Fear. So at the very least, I'm protecting one of my creatures. But yeah, they are going to have to act now or forever hold your peace. Maybe they're just playing a huge creature. Maybe they play a Lolth or something here. Need Hook Massacre for three. Yeah, see, so I did want to protect myself there just in case. Uh, we are drawing a lot of lands, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and, um, well, let's go ahead and swing in for three. Let us mast Vandal. Get rid of that. We'll drop a Tajuru, sure. Then I'll also, uh, do that for now. Uh, okay. Then we'll end the turn. So they could have mana, second meat hook, which at this point I can't really outpace. We we just got absolutely wrecked by that one, by that one meat hook right there, so we could be in some trouble. Ugh, and we're getting flooded to the gods here, so that is also quite unfortunate. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and swing in. See if the opponent's got a flashy blocker or something like that. Flashy blocker is the name. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay. Come on, we can do this. Come on, we can do this. The opponent has three more cards in hand, which could be absolutely anything. I don't like all these lands, first of all. Let's go swing it for three. Think we created another elf token here? Join me in battle. Opponent has something in hand. I'm thinking it's probably a um, counterspell. People don't generally use um, poison the cup very often anymore. All right, so we're gonna swing in. And sheesh. All right, we're gonna create another one-one here. And the turn. The opponent might be waiting to use another big sweeper here. I think it's a little bit greedy to use the, um, or to not use the emblem yet, but shit, it's like, it's tough. It's definitely tough. Okay, we're gonna put a 1-1 one, one out there, and we're also gonna play a natural growth. To see what our little 1-1 one, one can do, how far the little 1-1 one, one can take us. There we're swinging for two. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Do what we gotta do here. Oh my god, we're so flooded. We're so flooded here, guys. It's a grand old flood of flood nanigans. Okay, so they have a lot of sweepers. Ugh. This is just... Pretty god-awful, not gonna lie. And the turn. Okay, so what have we got rid of so far? A Crippling Fear, and... 
a meat hook massacre. All right, let's play a forest. Let's play a um, Tajuru Blight Blade just to grab a couple of cards here. Sweet. Um, play Elvish War Master. See if that gets countered. Counter away. Okie dokie. Play another War Master, I guess. <clears throat> Play Mass Vandal. Get rid of the other Meat Hook. Okay. Play another Mass Vandal. Oh, good gravy. Okay, we'll uh, exile the Mass Vandal. We're not bringing back anything from the graveyard anyway. Um, we could also play another one of these, which I think we should while we're trying to get value here. Okay. Um, put a plus one, plus one on this bad boy. Your courage is legendary. <clears throat> Let's go and do a big old swing. Okay. And we'll discard a uh, we'll discard a forest. Discard a good old forest. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's play Woodland Mystic. Draw a couple of cards. Realm Walker. Elf. Druid. Vandal. And that's it. GG. <laughs> oh man. That super popped off. That was that was really sick. We definitely wouldn't have won without Tyvar Kell's emblem there, but getting all that value off of the emblem was super sick. So GG, Sir Pancelot. Okay, this one's kind of a rough one. We do have things we can cast though, so we might as well. I think ideally you kind of want maybe the Elvish War Master in hand. Um, we're going to get rid of a Skeletal Swarming here, because I don't think we're going to be playing anytime soon. Um, let's go with the Woodland Mystic. Swing in. That's uh, one less thing that they can use as a value engine, like with Dispute or something like that. So um, let's go ahead and... Realm Walker here. We'll do that for elves. Or elf. And I think we'll just swing in. See if the opponent wants to destroy something. <clears throat> okay. We'll do um we'll do no attacks. Play a Tajuru. Tajuru. Play Forest. Tyvor Kell. Give this a plus one, plus one. Okay. And we'll sing it for one. We're on the board, Slayers. Two grids lantern. Guess I'm taking three. Alright, so we're going to play Forest. We're going to play Mass Vandal. Get rid of one of these bad boys. Let's go ahead and put a plus one plus one on this and we'll swing in. I believe we can be heroes. Another one. 
All right, so this is their game plan. Uh, sure, free life it is. And play on natural growth. With this, I can do six, so I might as well, right? We can do this. And for eight. Okay. The job is wrong. I oh shit! Let's go. And stay, stay gone. Uh, lose three life. Naturally. Okay. Um. I believe we can be here. Go kill Kaya. Swing in for three. And that way, if they gun for Tyvar, we've got five damage coming in and. We have some options that from that point on. You could have such enemies. We will slay our enemies. Uh, I'm going to actually lose three life. I'm going to emblem out here. This is where we snatch victory from our enemy. Elvish Warmaster. This Realm Walker or Elf. They could block here, take four. We go one, two, three. I think that's good. Now we get some damage in, and then I also kill Lolth. Okay. I return. Do what I um, they could have blood on the snow, which could be problematic, but we do have Tejuru Blightblade here for a hasty attack, so we might have this one if we're lucky. Uh, but so far, Tyvar Kell's emblem has been kind of the probably the biggest thing for us here. Okay, so they get to bring back a. Oh, okay. Rihi Healy. That was an easy job. That's odd. Uh, we're going to discard a card. <laughs> One of our many forests is fine. So first of all, let's go Circle of Dreams Druid. Sick. Let's go Mass Vandal. Get rid of that. Drop a Woodland Mystic. Uh, play that. Play Tajuru. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Tyvar is high value town, guys. That Tyvar emblem just kept us in the game, um, both game one and game two. So this is a really sick card, especially if you can get it going on. But uh, yeah. GG opponents. Haginata. Okay, this is kind of a sus hand to keep, right? But, you know, maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get lucky with it. Who knows? This actually isn't a great hand to keep, if I'm being completely honest with you, but um, I think it is what it is here. It is what it is. Oh, we got a fellow elf. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. 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 Okay. I want to sacrifice their own Elvish War Master, which is kind of an interesting choice, right? Kind of interesting. <clears throat> Alright, no attacks. Just gotta keep doing the, uh, the game plan, which is to uh, not die, as always. The game plan this game is to not be reduced to zero life. Okay, so we don't want to take six here. Clearly, not a great idea. Um, but what do we want to do is the question. Mm hmm. Could simply play something like a mass vandal 
And a Woodland Mystic. Oh, okay. Then I just have to tap down Circle of Dreams Druid. Okay, sweet. Let's go. No attacks. No attacks. And the turn. So they ramped up for something pretty saucy, but we've got our own little sauciness here as well, so um, not too bad. Not a too bad. Uh, and I probably will sack War Master to this, or I could even do a triple block with these three right here. Actually, that's probably what I'll do. Opponent has some thinking, thinking, thinking to do. Do it. Triple block. And I don't think there's an instant speed green spell that can kill off one of these creatures. At the very least, I'll be blocking enough. But uh, yeah. So we kill the Crag Ploth. Whatever the fuck it is. Crag Plate Baloth. Just pretty sweet. And I think what we want to do is... I think we're just going to play Mass Vandal here. Get some more chump blockers here. And we're just going to go next. Let's build up the board. We're going to do no attacks. Um, because next turn, I can do like a gigantic swing with um, Baseless Haven maybe leading the charge. Some tough decisions when it comes to a deck like this. Definitely a weird play was the Blizzard Brawl with our Elvish Warmasters, but I think I'm okay with that. Plus, I like this because I can actually do combat tricks right now. Is going to be super importante. So let's go. Let's see what we've got. Long rest. Okay. So they get to bring back three cards, which is uh, sweet. All right. Toski has to attack. So that's also sweet. Block here. We can actually, we might be able to close out the game next turn if I'm not incorrecto. So let me see. My turn. Okay, so how does this work? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We could have a potential of eight. We could do. We could also do Faceless Haven into a swing as well. Oh man, this one's a it's a really tough choice because there's so many things we can do here. But I think what I'm gonna do is Faceless Haven. Activate the ability. Double everyone's attack and swing in. And that should be lethal. <laughs> oh man, that's so sick. <laughs> yes, let's go! <laughs> oh man. Elf versus elf violence. And uh, yeah, with that unnatural growth, we give our opponents the chop. Let's go! <laughs> oh man, that was so sick. Not great, but we'll keep it. We're on the play, which is nice. We'll get to our turn three. Goodies a little bit faster, potentially. Our goodies. Our goodies. <clears throat> What is this? Uh, can't be lost as long as it's attacking alone. Okay, that's fine. We'll do a Dream Druid, or do we do a Realm Walker? I think we're going to do a Realm Walker here for Elves. So we got our Forest next turn into a Circle of Dreams Druid, I think could be cool. Get on its Scries. The Lost Mine of Fandelva. <clears throat> Play Circle of Dreams Druid. And I think we're going to go... Okay, yeah, we're, we'll attack, actually. Block. Sweet. Okie dokie. Skadioki. All right, so next turn we can Elvish War Master into our um, Elf of Dream Druid or a Realm Walker. We've got a few different options. Okay. With this, <clears throat> let's play 
Elvish War Master. And let's play a... Uh, we'll play the Circle of Dreams Druid, sure. And we're going to do no attacks right now. No attacks, please. And now they get to do a bunch of shenanigans. Plus one, plus one shenanigans. That's fine. Veladar Retreat. Gross. You hate to see it. Alright, so we play a forest, play Elvish War Master, <clears throat> Circle of Dreams Druid, and so let's play a... Oh man, we do have some options here. We could play Woodland Mystic off the top. Let's play Woodland Mystic off the top, I think. Play this. Play Realm Walker or Elf. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. That was absolutely beautiful. Just how devastating that is, because they would have swung in, and then we've just got so much value from this point on. All of our Circle of Dreams Druid just creating so much mana, and we were just a natural growth. We could probably double pump this, and we would have just crushed the opponent this turn, so GG. Opponent, that was awesome. So sick. Okay, um, I can see keeping this. We have a path to a... <clears throat> Skeletal Swarming here, which could be nice. Do this. And sure, we go in. We go in for one. And what does this do? Card leaves a graveyard. Okay. Roots of Wisdom. Okay, so we got a little self mill deck, which is pretty sick. You gotta love some good old self mill. Uh, we're gonna play this, and we're gonna play a Realm Walker for Elves. And, uh, yeah, I'll swing in. I'll swing in. Slowgurk! Yes! Let's go! I love that the opponent's playing Slowgurk. Makes me so much happy. Um, we're going to... Skeletal Swarm here. Just because we had to do it to him. We had to do it to him. Consider, huh? Consider this, and consider that. <clears throat> I love this. I love that the opponent's playing Slowgurk. We lose to Slowgurk. Guys, you know, I am more than happy to lose to a Jank deck. It's never an issue. Alright, we're gonna play Elvish Warmaster into Tajuru Blightblade. Just get that off the top. I feel like kind of important. The opponent gonna bounce here or fight something? I could see uh, uh, some kind of fight spell going on. Bounce might just do it here though. Okay. So return a creature and then shuffle some stuff. Such a saucy deck. I love it. Um, and then yeah, let's go and pay the three. Tap this down for elves again. Swing for two. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully we can just get on the, the elven skeleton value train. Actually, if we just play a natural growth this turn, uh, <clears throat> we should, should probably have the game from here. The suspicious stowaway. Alright guys, are you guys ready for this? I hope you guys were born ready for this. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so sick. Look at this, the opponent was just like, uh, nope. <laughs> that was the fastest concession I've ever seen as soon as a card hit the hit the board. That was amazing. So cool. So cool. Um, we got the skeleton thing going on, which as you can see, why skeleton swarming is so cool in here is because, um, you know, not only the skeletons get bumped up, but also our shapeshifters, and we do have like eight of them in here, and uh, that's a big boy. That is a big boy on turn five. GG, opponents. Do we dare? I think we dare. 
Toe Covered Forest. You know, I would I would say the best opening hands are probably the ones where you get Elvish Warmaster. Um, because otherwise you do have a lot of slower hands and you know, they can be trouble. Like something like this, this is very slow. It's not gonna get us anywhere that we really need to get to. Um Okie dokie. Skadioki. Okay, so here's a really good um, Elvish War Master deal. We'll play the play the Faceless Haven. Elvish War Master into Woodland Mystic. And then we've got a pretty thick board here. That's nice. And we also have the potential to unnatural growth next turn, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, Mardu Outrider. Super interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to play Snow Covered Forest into. I guess we'll do it into Circle of Dreams Druid just so we can get an extra elf out. And we're going to do no attacks. We'd love to see a black mana for Skeletal Swarming. We're going to do no blocks here. Do this, and unnatural growth. Let's go and, uh, we go next, and I will swing with these all right here, I guess. That way, if we get a double block, like, that's fine. Okay, Grim Wanderer. Issue. Issue, issue, issue. We're still good, I think, even if they do a full swing here. Big 10. They could Meat Hook. I wonder if Meat Hook would work here. Nope. They don't have enough mana for Meat Hook. Primal Adversary. Okay. Gonna activate this bad boy. Swing it for lethal! <laughs> oh my god, that's so sick. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, so they're down to they're down to one, right? So what we'd have to do probably is play Tajuru here. And then gives us a couple of blockers on the turn. I might have misplayed here actually. But maybe not. Sweet. I didn't misplay. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this deck is so sick, guys. This deck is absolutely ridiculous. And it's an elf deck, so if you've built an elf deck in standard in the last two years, then you probably have these cards. Circle of Dreams Druid was definitely a cool one that came out of Adventures in Forgotten Realms. But really, I'm loving the addition of a natural growth in an elf deck. It's like, you first you trigger and then you double, and your creatures are gonna be enormous. But we're undefeated for today. I think that was, I don't know, I wanna say about five matches in a row where we haven't lost a match so i'm not going to tempt the magic gods anymore we're gonna end it today this might be a shorter one so yeah we're just gonna stop here for today with this deck i hope you guys enjoyed it we're gonna go right into the deck breakdown right now all right, Slayers, this looks like the perfect place to end today's video, and I had such an amazing time playing this deck. This deck was super fun. Uh, I did build a elf deck a little while ago when Dritz Sto Erdin first came out, and that was a Selesnia one, but this one felt so powerful, a lot more streamlined since it was just basically one color with a splash of black for skeletal swarming, but overall, this card was the MVP because all of your tiny elves become 
gigantic threats with the assistance of Elvish Warmaster's pump ability and then just doubling up with unnatural growth. This deck was bonkers. Uh, we did get to see a match where uh, Skeletal Swarming also popped off with the help of a natural growth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This one was such a blast to play. And if you guys did enjoy it, please remember to bop. <laughs> And if you guys did enjoy it, please remember to chop that like and subscribe button for me because it does help my channel out a ton. Best of all, it helps me grow the Slayer's Den community. Now, as far as if you should build this one, I recommend it if you have a couple of copies of a natural growth and you have all these elf cards, obviously, because the deck is super powerful. I think you could actually cut the skeletal swarmings and just make it a giant elf deck. And um, I did test that out before. I just wanted to add the skeletal swarming just for a little extra janky action. But uh, yeah, overall, this deck was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to check this one out. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below and to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.